Hey guys, I had to take my travel trailer across town today and uh, I thought I'd bring the little Torque app along and uh, I happened to catch it right in a regen so I thought that was pretty cool. So you get to see how uh, a regen looks on the on the two little dials that I set up here. Uh, one thing I, I wanted to note too that I didn't know, uh, I've been having this app for about four years. Apple doesn't make this exact same Torque app. They make some lookalikes and stuff, and I think they do about the same thing. But uh, just just be aware of that. The, what I'm personally going to do if I if I keep fooling with this is uh, just get a cheap uh, Android pad and mount it permanently uh, instead of you know trying to having a deal with your iPhone every time you get in the truck and stuff. So that seems like the more logical way to go anyway. And you can get those little Android pads for next to nothing nowadays. Uh, some pretty nice ones. So uh, I'm talking like, you know, under under, under 40 bucks and stuff. Um, get like a little seven inch and, and mount it somewhere. You'd have a nice big screen. But uh, I wanted to uh, show you, uh, I've, since, I, since the last app, since the uh, last, uh, uh, video on the app I've uh, customized the display and you can see that on the left I've, I'm calling it turbo that's my uh, EGT1 and then on the uh, other side there on the right the DPF right there where I'm going right there that's the uh, EGT3 which is coming out of your uh, of your DPF and I, right there I've got all four of the uh, exhaust probes there looking at them and I'm just trying to make sure that my uh, that I'm monitoring the right ones and making sure that I've got the, those two right there set up properly and, and, and it looks pretty good so uh, you know it gets pretty boring now it's just gonna go through the region you're gonna see the DPF go higher go up to about 1100 pounds the temperatures look pretty good. This this one looks like it might be a li even a little more sensitive than, than this uh, CTS monitor was. Uh, my CTS is starting to crap out on me. But I've compared the temperatures uh, best I can. I can't run them both at the same time. I don't only have one OBD plug. But, uh, you know, plugging them in, plugging them back out, uh, unplugging it again. Uh, they look very close. So I, I, I feel like these... These uh, numbers are pretty good for these two gauges here. The app in general has a lot of things that need to be added to it. The nice thing about the app is it's very versatile, but you got to know the codes, the, the numbers, addresses and stuff, the hexadecimal addresses and things like that. And uh, so I'll probably keep fooling with this thing. I'm like a kid in a candy store with it right now trying to set up some of this stuff. I want to set up uh, gear and uh, torque uh, lockup, torque converter lockup and stuff like that. Or maybe I'm like a bull in a china shop. But uh, I'm going to keep playing with it for a while. And if any of you guys are interested in it, we'll uh, I'll be glad to pass on anything I learn on it. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, speed the video up right now and get to the next uh, significant interesting point. Okay guys, we're at the next most significant interesting point, which is I got to go to the bathroom bad. We've been driving for about 20 minutes in regen. And we're going to make we're going to make this bathroom break work to our advantage because we're going to time how long it takes to cool down. Now, when I just started talking just now, uh I put it in park at the Exxon station here in beautiful Maurice, Louisiana. So, we're gonna see uh, just how fast this thing will drop off as we uh, sit here in park. One thing the truck does do, 
uh, and I've noticed that with the CTS monitor, is the regen stops when you put it in park. And I think we're about done with the regen here. In fact, just this, this period of time going into the restroom here may be enough to, to finish it off because, like I said, we've been in regen about 20 minutes, and we've had some pretty high, pretty high temperatures, I guess you'd say. So uh, about normal. 1050, 1100 is about all I saw on my CTS. Uh, it all looks pretty good. It all looks pretty normal as far as comparing this with the CTS monitor. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but when I got home, and I've done this several times now, I plugged in the CTS monitor to compare the temperatures on it with the temperatures on the uh, Torque app. And uh, they look spot on. So I think we're in pretty good shape there. So let's go ahead and... Uh, and, and move on to the uh, to the part where I come back to the truck and take off and we'll see what our temperatures are and how long it took. Okay, we're back at the truck. That was about four minutes, five max. I didn't time it perfectly because I had to add some of the times but that's that's about four to five minutes right there so it came down pretty quick and uh you know that, that that's a good thing because you want it to uh cool down fast even when you're in a regen you know you wouldn't want your temperatures to stay very high while you're in a regen at least on the turbo side and the turbo temperature goes up slightly when the truck goes into a regen but from look, watching my CTS monitor, it only goes up about 100 degrees or so. Actually, this looks like it's more sensitive and it's showing uh, changes in the temperatures and stuff uh, either more accurately or quicker. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, this all looks good. This will do just what uh, you guys want to do uh, and, and myself as far as uh, watching our cool down. Uh, temperature on the turbo to uh, see how long it takes and it will also tell us when we're in a regen because that as I said that DPF temperature is gonna start spiking up so the regen is over now you can see that uh, and we're, we're back we're back rolling again but uh, it, it, it's over and that's that's pretty much the end it's gonna Come back and equalize with the other one and won't be anything exciting left to do so we'll just call this uh the end of the video i appreciate you guys watching guys and uh until next time adios